tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I am joined by Who Ate My Hamster, who will join in a little bit later. But today, we are here on Forza Horizon 3 in the parking lot, staring down my Get Nuts Lab NRG Innovations Logitech Evil Rabbit Tuning S13 uh, that I will be using in the EVL Drift Invitationals. Um, quickly, before I get into the course demonstration all that for the first event if you notice on the back of the door or on the trunk there is the new 2018 team evil rabbit te logo it is available for download if you guys want to rock the te team evil rabbit logo it is available just to search evil rabbit 07 as well just to find the door cards that you will need on the car as well so there has been some rule changes since the last video hamster and i have been running some tandems as well as urgent and some of the other team evil rabbit members and we've been looking and we have changed it to street tires from sports uh, to uh, slow the speeds down a little bit and uh, try and make the tandems a little bit closer. So check the addendums to the rules. A link will be in the description box below. Um, so big thank you to T-John as well for uh, making it obvious that I should probably adjust the tires a little bit. I was using the FD tire uh, width, so it was kind of different because it was like, Oh, 300 millimeters or 400 millimeters instead of like a 335 and stuff like that. So I changed it to basically accommodate the actual tire sizes in Forza. It, so if you've already built a car, your car still should be okay. I didn't change them dramatically. They only went down by five. So you still should be okay in your tire to weight if you've already built a car. So today we are going to go through the course layout for the event one. I do have a lot of the members that I want in event one already set to be invited but if you guys want to be in any of these evl drift invitationals make sure you comment on this video comment down below comment your gamer tag and i'll add you to the list of invitees that i have on the computer so that i will get you invited to other ones i plan on hopefully doing one to two of these maybe three a month um different course layouts maybe we'll go from eight invitationals to a 16 depending on how it goes so we're here today to check the course layout for the event number one and um like I said, comment your gamer tag down below because I do have people that I want in the event one, but there may be some spots opening up due to people not available to show. So if you guys want to be a part of it, make sure you guys get a car built to the rules. That will be in the description box as well. And uh, make sure you comment your gamer tag because if I don't know your gamer tag, I can't really send you an invite. So course layout for one is we are going to be running in the parking lot. So basically... We're going to be running a short tandem course. I'm going to run it real quick, show you where the car should be, and then I'll try running it myself and see if I can get the car where it should be. But you know, this is this is me, and this is Forza Horizon 3. I'm still on Forza 7 feel. So basically, both cars are going to start here and the back in these parking spots, and we will do the drivers will do like a 20 roll to these first markers, and then you'll be on full throttle. The first initiation point will be about this third yellow parking spot you're going to want to initiate at that or the uh parking meters you're going to want to initiate there try to get as far out deep to the fence as you can coming around to about a midline around here getting your back wheels out to this white parking hash marks over here so you want to get your back tires at least close as you can into the white try not to go all the way deep into the light so you don't have to pull down and we have to you know move it out of the way then you're going to want to try and cut back and shoot to have your back tires clip this rear island right here as well as this island here which puts you in enough space to get your car out into these parking spots here you're going to run these parking spots as much as you can and get it all the way out here as close as you can to the wall capping it is good if you don't change your angle from there you're going to pretty much shoot your car in through these islands here and then are you're going to want to get your back bumper out to about this island for a clip here and then you're going to transition it through this section getting your front bumper as close as you can to the island on the left and basically shoot your car all the way out again but this time getting your car completely out into the yellow as close as you can to the wall pushing it all the way out to the wall as well here staying nice and high against the wall and then bring it back and bring your back bumper around to this island here on the outro and then you're going to bring the car through that island 
to this island here and that is where the run will end. So I'm going to try to give it a run here myself and see if I can actually get my points down. Um, it's been a little bit shaky. I'm still trying to tune this car a little bit more, but, you know, like I said, Forza 7 uh, physics are still on my mind. So here we go. We'll give it a shot. Slight roll. On power. Initiate about that third yellow. Get it out to the wall nice and wide. Get my car into the white. That's too much on the islands, but you want to get the rear bumper there into the white, and then we're going to run it out to the wall. Bring it out this way. Get the bumper out there. Kick it back. And run it out into the yellow. Little handbrake there. Out to the wall. Tapping it is okay. Like I said, then you want to get to that island and then finish it off close to there. So that run was not that great. Um, my driving has definitely lacked here at Horizon 3. Definitely going to be doing a lot more driving in here, but also going back to 7, because Hamster and I, I believe, are both going to be trying to qualify for round 3 ESD at Magello. So we're going to try to run this one more time. That was a little bit better of initiation. Out to the white. There we go. Kick back. That's a little bit better on those two islands. Got my car in the wrong gear, but we're going to try and salvage this run. And we're going to cut it back. Just a gentle tap on that island. It's basically the figure eight. We're going to go into the yellow. Could have gone deeper, and then I stalled it, but you guys get the general idea of the course. Now I'm going to probably try and get hamster in here. We're going to try and run some tandems and see if we can't get some tandems in here and uh, go from there and have a little fun. But like I said, make sure you guys check the description box for the rules and also comment your gamer tag if you want to be a part of this one or any of the other upcoming EVL just invitational events that I'll be running here on Horizon 3. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. I like the reversed uh, NRG logos. Did you make those? Hamster? Oh my gosh. <laughs> As he shows up, he disease. <laughs> Get wrecked or IDC'd, one of the two. So, I found out that it was not me that DC'd, it was actually Hamster. I thought I DC'd, so I thought I wrecked myself, but no, it was Hamster. So he is resetting his run, I'll be right back. So we are going to try and run this a little bit more. See if we can uh, get a little bit better of a run. Not throwing it in like that, we won't. Trying to hang it out. Like I said, I have not drifted on Horizon 3 much, but we are deep in that white zone. That is a very good white zone run. Bumper right there. There we go. Kick it. Nice and wide. So, it was good in the latter part of the track. A little laxing in the first port. Oh, and a little straight in there, but... There will be no qualifying, like I said before. The other uh, important thing that will be happening on... The, ch the championship is everybody, not championship, the rounds, everybody who is in the competition will have to be on cosmetics so that the hitboxes are smaller. So that is one other thing that we will be doing is making sure everybody is on cosmetic damage. Up, throw it in fourth. Run that nice and wide. There we go. Right to the white. There we go. This is looking like a lot better of a run. Not as deep as I wanted to there and not as deep as I wanted there, but... You guys get the idea. Clip that island. There we go. Transition on the front. Ooh. A little bit shaky, but we got we got it so far. So I think this will be a lot of fun running this little section, and then there's other sections I'll be running in later other events. So, if you, like I said, make sure you guys comment your gamer tag down below if you guys want to be a part of any of the Drift Invitationals. Ooh, there we go. And I will be bringing the entire event to the channel. I have not decided if I'm going to be running the, the event's live stream or if I will just run them as a normal video and bring them up for you guys. Now I'm getting the hang of this track a little bit better. Kind of getting my uh, Horizon Horizon 3 drift arms back. Whoa, nope. As I say that, I go right into the wall. We're going to try not to smash each other. 
again. I say try because it's actually really hard on tandem brakes. As I almost go into <laughs> hamster's driver's door or passenger's door. Sorry, that's right hand drive. What are you doing? Yeah, passenger door. In Why are you door? over there? <laughs> oh wait, wrong course. <laughs> I get wrecked. I what course we were doing. <laughs> I don't remember which one we were doing. Well, I mean, it's good. I haven't even re released technically the video yet. No, I'm just kidding. All right, ready? Yep. There right, we go. Hamster, I uh, kind of lost a little bit. First time tandeming with this car. Oh, I thought I was gonna lose that, but I somehow held on to that. Just tap. <laughs> Don't hit the light pole, hamster. That wasn't that wasn't actually that bad. It was a very bit of a shaky run, but <laughs> yes, it needs a lot of adjustment on brake. Wait a second. I'm only running 35% brakes, and it's still too much. I'm running 40, and it seems like it's a lot. <laughs> uh, the alignment, touch point, camber in the rear, turn up the gear ratio. All right. So now let's see if I can get a see if I can get a follow in. Oop. That was almost the wall. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh. Stall the car. That's what that. That's a good thing. That's what that roll is for. There we go. Not as close as I'd like to be. Give myself a little room. Maybe giving myself a little bit too much room. I'm gonna have to sacrifice angle and distance to try and get proximity, and it's not working. That car's pretty quick. Well, he didn't really get me. I kind of stayed the same distance the entire time, so it wasn't too bad. This course layout's pretty <laughs> good. No brakes. Yeah, no I use my brakes. I use my handbrake and brakes and clutch all at the same time just to stop. Because that's what I need to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't wait till I get my wheel set up back. Why aren't you using it now? Because of uh, no shifter. Well, well, the shifter, yeah, because I don't want to use paddle shifters. So. Oh, you got to put a handbrake in. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Such short gear ratios. Out, there we go. There we go. That's nice. Ooh, that was nice. This is a pretty nice lead run. If I can hold it. Quick transition. There we go. Out to the yellow. Oh, oh, right on the fence line. That was a primo lead run. That was a awesome lead run. I'm oh, and there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there we, we gotta not coming. we gotta not do that in the actual like event because I don't want to wreck anybody else's car. Now I got a broken windshield. What the hell? Um, I got a scratch on my front bumper. Yeah, he got some broken taillights too. All right, ready? Yep. Yeah, let's go. Cut that. Oh, it's shorter than I should. There we go. Little knee brake adjustment to get back. <laughs> All right there. I saw that hamster. I'm right there though. I'm right here, hamster. You ain't really left me. Oh. 
<laughs> I was right there that entire time. That was oh, sweet. This be fun. Oh, this 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 event's gonna be a blast because it's a supercharged V8 <laughs> FD or FC. Uh, so everything I built is supercharged V8. All right, Except so uh, back up. Let's roll. Went to apply the setup. Okay. It's like send you in reverse. Wow. I don't know what happened there. He like glitched weirdly into my line. I was like, wait, what happened? Oh, surging forward and I couldn't hold it. I pulled the I pulled the e-brake instead of brakes. That was a really bad surge forward. Ah oh, man, get back. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm gonna do one more lead and ch I'm gonna lead this and then we'll do one more chase and then that will probably do it for this episode here. I'm Forza Horizon 3 with me my hamster and uh, the EVL Gym's Invitational Round One track layout. So, I just realized I don't have door cards on this car. Nope, you do not. You are not legal. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, that was right out to that. That's gonna be too much. There we go. This car likes to slide very wide. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> and I over rotated. I had an itchy nose. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get one more chase on Hamster here. So, like I said, guys, make sure you guys comment your gamer tag down below if you guys wanna get on the list for any invites for the EBL Drift Invitational with uh, myself, Hamster, and some other members of Team Evil Rabbit. I'm not going to back into you, am I? I saw your headlights, I got scared. <laughs> so, if you guys like to see and want to see my more, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all the support, as well as comment and like this video if you want to see more. And, uh, let me know your predictions. Do you think I'm going to be able to win in my own event, or am I going to choke? Because usually I choke in my own event. Again. <coughs> shush. Shush. All right, hamster. Let's do it. <laughs> If you guys don't know, last time we did a tandem comp, Hamster and I went, I believe, four one more times in the finals, and I ended up choking on initiation and hitting too much brakes and over-rotating my car, causing myself to lose after a fourth one more time against Hamster. Oh, Hamster. And uh, I, I'm, I'm starting to see very reminisces of that competition between us right now. So, that's going to do it for me here on Forza Horizon 3. You know, you can follow me on Facebook, oh, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which found in the description box below. Hamster. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and he's who ate my hamster. We will, and we'll see you guys in the next video and or in some of the open lobby drift tandem practices for the EBL Drift Invitational. So, until next time, guys. I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.